studio. We are on the road uh, in a really cool location, the uh, the West Point Growth Alliance offices. That is the uh, West Point Chamber of Commerce right here on Broad Street. We're on Broad Street. That's right. And this is an old library. This is the Carnegie Library, and we're over 100 years old building. Very good. Yeah. Super, super cool building, and uh, good to be with you. Lisa Klutz, who is uh, Executive Director of the West Point Clay County Community Growth Alliance. And we got Prairie Arts Festival coming up just around the corner. In fact, not this weekend, but next weekend, it is here. It's here, and when Super Talk is in town, I know it's really close. So I'm glad y'all are here in West Point. We're glad to be here. Always uh, good to be here in West Point. So give us uh, a quick overview, and then we'll drill down a little bit. Prairie Arts Festival, how long has it been going on? What uh, what are the highlights? All the all the good stuff. Well, this is the 46th year. Okay. I've been coordinating it for 15 or 16 years. You kind of lose count. A veteran? Yes. A pro? Um, I was a, a vendor before I started coordinating the festival. So I can see both sides of how to run the festival and then what the vendors need and the artists and how to take care of them. But the Growth Alliance is the Chamber of Commerce, like you said. It's Main Street Association, so we're downtown revitalization, promotion, and tourism. So we promote West Point um, to West Point and outside West Point. And uh, Prairie Arts is one of the things that we do here in this office, along with the Christmas parade and the farmer's market, and we take care of businesses and ribbon cuttings. And When somebody doesn't know who to call, they call us, and we take care of them. There you go. I like that uh, very much. And in terms of actual location for people outside of West Point that maybe have not been to Prairie Arts, it is right here. In the heart of downtown, in the park, in the street, um, we, you step out the, you walk out the steps of the Growth Alliance, and you're walking straight into the festival. Yeah, that's really good. By the way, tip of the cap, downtown West Point is, I feel like it's more vibrant than it has been, uh, and I know that that is not an accident. I know that it's an ongoing um, collaboration with the people who live here and the businesses that are here, but it really looks good. Thank you. Um, and, and one thing about Prairie Arts Festival, it's not just the festival itself, but it's showcasing West Point sure. and the growth that we have had. Um, we are known, we were known for Brian Foods, right. and um, that's, a, that's a great tribute to them. But when they closed, we um, experienced unemployment, um, kind of a depression, but um, also a lack of identity. Who are we now? We can't say we're home of Brian Foods. Yeah. Um, so it gave us a chance to just step back and rebrand ourselves and what we actually do here in West Point outside of industry, yeah. and that's the arts. Well, and this part of the state, I mean, I don't think it's any secret, is growing crazy. Lots of industry has been attracted to here. Um, we're going to talk with Joe Max coming up later in the show today. There, there's land availability and there's infrastructure availability. And, and West Point is such a key cog in that development and growth and all the things that are happening. The great thing about this area is the Golden Triangle, that we're the Golden Triangle, Columbus, Startville, and West Point, and we all complement each other and yep. work together um, for that growth. And Joe Max, he's energizing. I can't wait to hear him speak. So I, I was I was excited when I saw that he was on our list of guests this morning. I'm like, okay, that'll that'll take a couple of segments. He's a he's a great talker. And, yes, he's got uh, a lot to say. He is certainly a salesman for the uh, for the Golden Triangle. So back to Prairie Arts. One of the things that, that I've learned a, lo a lot about, I guess, is that with these festivals. You've got artists that, that this is kind of their livelihood. It's what they do. They have a little bit of a circuit. And this is one, when you say 46 years, it's very much on the calendar. It's very much on the radar. So you have artists that come back year after year, but you also have new artists that, that come in and, and choose to be a part of it. 46 years, we've seen a lot of people come and go. Right. Um, vendors that have been with us for a long time, vendors that we miss now. Um, and then, But it's also a great thing to help new vendors, new artists start their journey in the artistic world and festivals, um, it is it is it's it's a lot of work, um, but it's very rewarding for both me and the artist and the vendor having that day at the festival. And and is it like a lot of festivals where, in terms of art, there is as much to see as you can imagine? I mean, it goes from paintings and different types of paintings to sculptures and pottery and all of the things in between. Yes, and we have about 200 vendors. Wow. Um, jury fine arts, handmade crafts, a few boutique um, vendors. But um, when I think I've seen it all, I just had a, a vendor call last week, and I'd never seen his work, uh, work like this before. So there's always something new. 
always something new. Yes, there's the painters and the potters and the jewelry and the door hangers and the yard art. Um, but there's but everybody has their own style, and so it's all unique. And then food and music and all of those all things, the things that go with it. All the things. We have lots of music stages um, inside the Blues Museum. We're going to talk to Deborah Mansfield later. Yeah. Uh, she really um, does a lot with the museum and street musicians. Fantastic. Yeah. It's going to be a great weekend, right? It is, and I'm trying to keep my head above water, too. There you go, and it coincides with the opening of the uh, college football season. So you got Mississippi State just down the road playing their home opener. What a great way to spend a day, right? You spend part of the day at the festival, then you make your way over to a ball game. Come to the festival and then go on a tailgate to the ball game. Absolutely perfect. Prairie Arts Festival, it's Labor Day weekend. Saturday's the big day, right? August 31st? August 31st. There you go. Uh, great way to uh, to put a bow on the end of summer rolling into Labor Day weekend. Always good to see you. You too. we Thanks. got more coming up with you. It's the Gallo Radio Show on Super Talk Mississippi on the road today. We are live in West Point, 7 o'clock hour, coming up next.